it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and today I'm super excited to show you guys my pantry. So this is going to be the first stage of our complete pantry reorganization. It is halfway there and I really like how it is right now, but we are going to basically have to gut the pantry to get it exactly how I want. So I ended up finding some OXO pop containers at Costco. These are airtight containers where you have to pop the lid down and it seals the lid. And I absolutely love these containers. I've had one for a really long time and they're just really expensive. I got this one container, I paid 20 bucks for the one container. So when we moved into this house, I knew I was going to redo the pantry, get all nice containers for everything so that it just looks really streamlined. You can see what you have. You can see how much is left of things. Like if you have things in their original box, it's hard to tell how much is left. And sometimes the box will be basically empty and you'll see the box on the shelf and think you have it and you really don't know that it's basically empty and you need to repurchase. So it has made grocery shopping a whole lot easier to just kind of scan the pantry and see what we have. Um, so that was a big reason why I wanted to do it. Another reason, it just looks better without all the different colors and labels. It's just a lot when you're walking into the pantry. I also hate all of the chip bags and things. Basically, most snacks come in bags, so I'm using chip clips for everything. They're piled everywhere, and I just don't like the look of it. I just wanted it to be all clean and sleek and organized. I knew these containers were going on sale. I just didn't know how much they were gonna be. I just knew they were gonna be $12 off. So when we went to Costco, they happened to be 47, I think $47.99. So I ended up with three boxes boxes of them and redid our complete pantry and I love the way it looks. We did run into one problem which is why this is going to be like a two phase type reorganization and I will show you that clip now. So yeah, they don't fit. <laughs> My pantry shelves are 12 inches even or 11.75 inches and the containers need to be like 12 and a half inches on the shelf. So it's just the tiniest sliver too short to be able to stack the containers, which was my original idea and plan. I wanted to stack them so that they looked nice so I could put more in the pantry. But right now we're just dealing with what we've got. It does look very streamlined even with just you know, the big gaps between the containers because the shelves aren't the right height. But I was just really crushed when I figured this out. We got them home. I had unboxed a whole box of them. You have to unwrap each piece. I set them on the counter as I'm unboxing them and I took one, tried to put it in the pantry and I was like, oh no, they don't exactly fit. So unfortunately we will have to move the shelves around to make more room. I do have a plan for putting in basically like a countertop inside at some point, but this is gonna be way out in the future. This is how our pantry is gonna look for the foreseeable future because we have major other projects we wanna get done before this. This is just such a minor detail thing that we'll do hopefully at some point, but for now, this is how our pantry looks. Most of the containers are the square new containers that are the OXO brand. And then I have some glass canisters that are just absolutely beautiful. They are from Ikea. I really, really like the style. There's various different sizes of them. They just don't stack very nicely because they are round, so it takes up more space. But in certain sections of my pantry, you will see these containers. I like the way they look and I like the way that they work. So I'm going to be keeping them in their certain little sections that are divvied up, but I really, really like the way the pantry looks. It's so much more functional and organized for me, and I just really like it. I'm very like type A. I want things to be like nice and pretty in a row. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So basically I redid all of our pantry for 150 bucks because the containers happen to be on sale at Costco. I was super excited to get that deal, but you can also buy the containers individually. They just happen to be more expensive. I have heard the actual OXO website does give discounts. So definitely check there for coupon codes and promotional offers and things. So that would be another good way in case you don't have a Costco or you want a certain size container, that is also a good way to go. So that is enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and talk about the actual pantry itself. It is a corner pantry. I'm gonna pan through the kitchen really quick so you guys can see the whole kitchen. It just tucks into one of the corners of our kitchen and it is a very big pantry as far as a corner pantry goes. I have had way smaller pantries in the past, but this one happens 
happens to be a really good size. We are just a family of four, so we don't need a huge giant pantry, but I do like to keep things stocked. So I do have some overflow in a little hall closet. So I keep the little like overflow bin and a couple of like extras. If I have extra bags of the same thing, I keep them in that closet and pull them out as needed. Like you can never have enough pirate's booty at this house. So I will buy multiple bags of it, stack it in this shelf and then just pull out enough to put in the container. So it's in the pantry and easy to grab for the kids. And so what I do is I just pull out this big container, fill up the canisters as needed, and then look and see what I need as far as grocery shopping. So it makes grocery shopping really easy. It makes, you know, decanting into the containers really easy to have this big bin of overflow things. It happens to be a target bin if you're interested. They're just like the Y weave style baskets. I happen to really like the way that they look and they've held up over the years. So I do like those. And then when you actually walk into the pantry, I do have it divided into different sections. I'm gonna give you a quick little sweep overview so you can see what the whole pantry looks like. I was cut in a little close, so I'll back up and show you guys a little bit better view of everything all lined up. Basically, I just really like the way it looks and it ends up being really functional. There was one unknown benefit to this as far as getting the canisters. Olivia can get snacks out herself now, which is great. She couldn't really clip back the chip clips and it was harder for them to find what snacks they want. And now they can look in the pantry. The first few days they were really overwhelmed with how many choices they had because they hadn't really seen everything out. Basically like the first couple bags stacked up in the pantry were the options they thought they had at any point in time. So they'd go in the pantry, pick one of the front bags and that was their snack. And now they have all the options. So. The added benefit is they can go in there, pick exactly what they want. Even Stella can carry these containers out to the countertop for me and I can fill up their bowls or Olivia can actually fill up the bowls herself. So it's made snack times a whole lot easier because it gets them more involved in it and it makes it a lot less hands-on for me to get their snacks ready. And my kids are big snackers. They always have an afternoon snack. So I definitely want to have the snacks all there for them and hopefully at some point, Stella can open the containers and get her own snacks, but she's still a little young for that. She's almost two. <laughs> but that's the, the ultimate goal is for them to be able to go in there and get their own snacks and be pretty self-sufficient with that. They can go grab their own cheese sticks from the fridge too, but I do have to usually get the fruit out for them and cut it up for them. But those are the other snacks they have. They have a lot of fruit. <laughs> they basically have like carbs and fruit. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead, walk into the pantry and go through all the different zones and then I'll walk you through every single thing in the pantry. So first I want to walk you through like the basic setup that I have going on. I have it organized in categories a little bit and then I will walk you through every single thing in the pantry so you guys can see what all we've got and yeah so let's go ahead and start. We'll start up and work our way down as far as general categories. We've got candy and there we've got adult treats there. I found recently that I really like mimosas, so we've been having mimosas sometimes. Then we've got cereals and oatmeal and a couple of treats right there, kind of random. And then here is adult stuff and kid desserts and treats, so we've got lots of protein bars and stuff. This is a baking section, so I've got baking supplies, little box mixes, any kind of random ingredient that I need for a baking thing. All that kind of stuff goes in here, like jello box mixes and there's like sweetened condensed milk, things like that back there. And then we've got all the like baking dry ingredients here. And then also hot cocoa goes up here. Then we've got some canned goods separated in two little sections. So this one is the things that we keep in stock and I try to keep it pretty much like all the way out to the front. I can put 10 cans of each variety. So we go through these cans pretty regularly. I rotate these out pretty regularly. And then the cans down here, aside from the pumpkin, um, are cans that we don't necessarily buy all the time. I went ahead and bought our um, cream of mushroom soup and canned green beans. So we can do green bean casserole coming up here in the fall. And then I got a can of sweet potatoes to try. This one was rotated around because Stella always tries to grab this off. <laughs> she knows that it's sweet potatoes. We've never used the canned ones before, but she's just excited to see it for some reason. And then the pumpkin, I stocked up on this a while back because we love to do pumpkin muffins, pumpkin breads, that type of thing. And I've got a couple of pumpkin recipes I plan on sharing with you guys soon. But these are just like one-off cans of things like artichoke hearts for a pasta dish. These I use for barbacoa, and I've seen a couple other recipes with chipotle peppers, some enchilada stuff back there. I think there's a can of like baby corns back here. It's just kind of random one-off cans that we don't necessarily keep stocked all the time, like up here. 
and we've got canned meats back there, onions, and if I get garlic or shallots for anything, they go in this bucket as well. And then we've got some sort of like dry goods and pasta type stuff back there. These are more dry goods like pasta and beans, rice. Uh, there is a little bit of pasta in there as well. And also I have grits and cornmeal right here. For some reason, they just fit in that container well. And then in the front sections here, we've got little treats up here and then some more dry grain things and also some treats here. And then down here is basically just mostly snacks. So I go all the way across various snacks. And then down here, mostly all the way across is various snacks. I keep potatoes down here. I don't always have russet potatoes or any other kind of potatoes, but I generally always have sweet potatoes. The girls love them. So it's just something I have a lot. And then back behind these things, I've got emergency soup type things. I do get migraines, so I do have to have some emergency things on hand if I don't feel like eating or if I'm nauseous. I've got emergency soups. Also, there's some raviolis back there that we ended up getting <laughs> during the pandemic when things were hard to come by. But I picked up a bunch of those to have. Also some stock back there that we just use for various recipes. Also down here, we've got sparkling water and sometimes these go all the way across depending on how many flavors that we have at a time. And then we've got applesauce there and then these are pretty good. I've been trying different flavors of them. I bought the whole big giant container with all their flavors. Bada bean, bada boom, they are fava beans and they are crispy. So they flavor them with different things and they're a small little bite-sized little treat. They came in a big box and so we've been going through and trying them. Stella really likes them too so I give her some here and there as well. And then back there we've got different juices and things. Sometimes we have Gatorade depending on what's going on. Apple juice, that's my emergency drink. There's some lemonade right now. And then I get fresh farm eggs and I rotate out the containers. So I put the containers back there and then when she comes and brings them I give her the containers back and then some water back there. We do have more water just for emergency use only, but this water happens to be for some of the plants. <laughs> some of our plants just take natural water. They can't take the tap water. I also keep our air fryer in here, and then this is our recycle bin. And back there, I've got a big thing of oil. So if I'm deep frying anything, I use that oil. I had purchased it for something a long time ago, and we've been just been using it as needed. So that gives you kind of the rundown, like bigger stuff, Snacks, these are, you know, eye level for the kids, so it's easy for them to grab what they want for the most part. And then those are the treats that I don't want them easily grabbing. <laughs> I keep them up high. Um, so let's walk through pretty much everything in more detail now that you've seen the rundown of everything. So as far as treats up here, we've got these little round containers filled with um, Jolly Ranchers. And I'll put some of those in Olivia's lunch here and there. She's got a little dessert compartment, so she'll have those probably a couple times a week. And then we have things for M&Ms. They're not really well stocked right now. We've got a few M&Ms in there and the peanut one. And then back there is one that says plain. They've just been labeled with vinyl. And I do have a video on how I labeled all these guys. And this is a candy bucket. I'm gonna pull it out and walk through it just a little bit. So this is just random candies that we still have left over from Halloween time. A couple of candies from various things. These are the chocolates that we like. I think Johnny just finished one of the 86% ones, but some of these are really hardcore. <laughs> I can't do the 90 and 100% ones. I also have some of these in here. I've got more boxes of these. Nature's Bakery brownies. I think they're made with dates. I don't know if it's figs or dates. It does have cane sugar syrup and then date paste. So these are a little bit of a a little bit of a cleaner option for a little treat. And I tend to like these and the girls both like these as well. So, oh, here's here's some of the chocolate. This is my favorite one right now. The one from Trader Joe's, or maybe it's other places as well, but I'll try to keep it lined up up there. And then like some white chocolate pieces, some gummies. Um, these are all left over from last Halloween, so they need to be used up or tossed here soon and then we will fill this thing up again when Halloween comes and whittle it back down. Also these, I like to give these to Olivia for Friday. These are just something from Trader Joe's. Fruit leather buttons. So it's just kind of randomness. The kids can pick from here from time to time and Johnny and I sneak little treats from time to time as well. I've been on a dark chocolate kick so I've been really liking that. 
And these containers are from Target. They're Y Weave baskets. You can see room essentials right there. I try to turn it the other way so that that little thing doesn't show. And then this is a s'mores container. It's just, you know, all the ingredients to make s'mores. We just happen to have those every once in a while. And we do like s'mores nights with the neighbors sometimes because certain neighbors have fire pits and it makes it nice. We can just pull them in and bring it along. And then right there we've got ice cream cones. So these containers, um, usually I turn them like this, but this one I happen to turn the other way so we could put our little ice cream cones. And I think it looks super cute. And then over here we've got just one bottle that I thought was really beautiful. It's for Pride 2020. And we just happened to get that one just for the bottle. <laughs> and so we drank it with our mimosas, but it's mostly just to have up there. We've got a thing of corks behind there in a mason jar. And then this is the one that my friend had when she was serving us and it was really good. So we usually just stick to that one. <laughs> I find what I like and that's pretty much all we have. <laughs> and then up here we've got cereal and oats. So we've got Cheerios or some, you know, generic Cheerios checks, Rice Krispies or generic Rice Krispies wheat checks because Stella ends up liking both of those. And then we have two kinds of oatmeal, just old fashioned oats and then the quick oats. And it depends on what you're doing, what oat you use. So those are the two I tend to use for various recipes. And this is cereal left over from when grandpa was here. It's just a little bit, so I don't have a container for it. I'm trying to get the girls to finish it off because they really like the little date and raisin pieces in it. And then up here, these are skinnier ones. Actually, this oatmeal one happens to be a skinnier one too. These ones go all the way back. They're like bigger cereal style containers, but these ones have treats for the girls. We've got the honey Teddy Grahams, which are Stella's favorite. She always pretty much asks for bears when it's dessert time. And then back there is birthday cake granola that I got from Costco. It was a, in a big giant thing. And I'll pack that in Libby's lunch sometimes as a special treat for her. And then over here, we've got more of like mommy treats and protein bars and things. So I have this little lemon snack mix that I really like. I've purchased this a couple of times. I just like that when I want something sweet and lemony. And I've got my favorite protein powder so far, the Vegan Power Pro. It's just a vegan uh, protein powder from First Form, P-H-O-R-M. And so I generally almost always have one of these in here now that I'm trying to get good protein. And then I've got a peanut butter powder back here. Again, another good source of protein. I'll throw these both into a fake frappuccino and they're really good. So I keep both of those on the side here. And it tastes kind of like a peanut butter cup with both of those together. And then the Built Bars, I've talked about them in a video and reviewed them a little bit. We've got some of our favorite flavors. And then also they gave me these. I haven't tried these yet, but they're built energy protein, so peanut butter and honey. I don't know if it has caffeine in it. No, nope, it doesn't look like it's caffeinated. It's just, you know, peanut butter and honey, a quick little protein thing. We've got some cinnamon crackers. These are from Trader Joe's. They're kind of like graham crackers, basically. These are the coconut almonds from Costco. I just love these guys. So I just decant them into the tiny air container and pull out a few as needed. And these are vanilla wafers. We just, we're at the very end of a box. So I stuck them in here. Back here I've got Cliff Bars because I've been really liking these on my like long exercise days. These, I'll just have one or two of these depending on how far I go. And then back here we've got a little thing of mud cakes. Hasn't even been opened, but sometimes you just want something sweet. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> sometimes you just want something sweet. Rainbow chip cake. We've had these before and they're really good. It's just the, you know, funfetti style. And it's nice to just have. I can make chocolate mug cakes, but that kind I just like to buy when I want some fun funfetti. <laughs> and then here are more of those um, little brownie bite things. Nature's Bakery Brownie Double Chocolate Real Dates Cocoa and Whole Grains. I just really, really like these. They're 100 calories per brownie, so two come in a little pouch. And I really like them. The girls really like them. But I have not found these ones locally. I buy them through Amazon and I get like six or eight boxes at a time because that's just how they come. <laughs> you have to buy a big giant thing of them. And then here we've got Oreos. So we've got my favorite of all time, the Halloween Oreos. You see, I've done some damage on that box. Generally, the whole pack of Oreos fits in one of these snapware containers. So we've got those. These are actually apple cider. We've never tried them before, but they're pretty good. So we've got those as well. And then some corn cookie mix. I got those from Trader Joe's. I'm not gonna go through this whole basket, but I will show you kind of what we've got in there. We've got pudding mixes, muffin mixes, I got this to make a s'mores pie that I never ended up making, so at some point I will make a s'mores pie. Got some almonds for various things, um, coconut for various things, 
but there's just cake mixes. I tend to use applesauce for sweetener if I'm making like strawberry bread or blueberry bread for the girls to have for breakfasts. I will sweeten it with applesauce instead. And then cake mixes and things back there. And then what's that? Coconut cream, sweetened condensed milk, pineapple, crushed pineapple. Then over here is baking essentials and hot cocoa. So Johnny's mom brought this and told us she really liked it. This one has marshmallow flavoring in it. And Johnny really likes this one. And I ended up seeing it at our store and picking up this one. This one is chocolate mousse. <laughs> so hopefully it's good. We haven't opened it yet, but that is there for winter time when it gets chilly. And this is just like Swiss Miss, like regular hot cocoa. Back here is self-rising flour. It's the only one I think that's not labeled right now. And then we've got sugar, powdered sugar, brown sugar. The smaller ones have different things in them. We've got cocoa cinnamon sugar back there which is not labeled we've got chips and mini chips it depends on what we're making what we're using the hot cocoa and then cornstarch back there i end up thickening things with cornstarch as needed over here we've got pancake mix this happens to be the kodiak flapjack mix which is really good we really like it so i'm going to be getting a few varieties of that we've got all purpose flour in both of these um, containers here i end up filling up both of them at the same time usually and then back there i've got masa i use that for a couple of little recipes and then as far as our essential canned goods we've got garbanzo beans and black beans the girls both absolutely love those and then corn for various things if i'm making like tortilla soup i will use some of these cans here and there for that i also have some cream style corn for whenever also if i'm making like a cornbread thing or a corn casserole type thing i can throw in some of the corn as well and then all sorts of different tomato based things i used to only buy like diced tomatoes plain and tomato paste as needed but due to the pandemic, things have just not been in stock. And so when I need something, I just grab whatever they have and grab a few at a time. So you can see there's all sorts of different brands, all sorts of different varieties of flavors and things. So I use these to do pastas and soups and things. But generally speaking, it would have been like the same. H-E-B diced tomatoes and that would be it. <laughs> but due to crazy times, I just have stocked it with whatever we could find. Over here, like I said, we do onions, sometimes garlic, shallots, that type of thing in there. And then as far as canned meats, I've got some tuna, some canned chicken breast, some more tuna up there. Generally speaking, I have a row of this tomato and basil marinara from Trader Joe's. We all like that, but I'm getting low, so I just have one. We've got some taco shells here that need to be used up, various like seasoning packets. These are ancho chilies here I used for a recipe. One thing of rice, I was stocking up on some of these things due to, you know, food shortages and not having the right thing. So we're just on our last one of those. I should probably stock up a little bit more. And then back here, I've got just whatever pasta we have opened. That happens to be elbow macaroni and then lasagna noodles here. These are chile de arbol. I use these for salsa. And then we've got ramen noodles. I usually have a stack of those. And I also usually have a stack of these ramen cups. I really like the Trader Joe's ramen cups. This is just an easy grab and go snack or lunch for me depending on my mood we also have the trader joe's cereal bars i put them here so olivia can grab one as she wants because sometimes she just wants that for breakfast it makes it easy she can grab it and then as far as what's in these guys here i'll put this one back up as it goes back up there um, these are all ikea containers by the way i probably should have mentioned that earlier all these round ones are ikea ones and so we've got orzo in this one cornmeal back there for making cornbread then we've got uh, breadcrumbs in both of these. We've got just regular breadcrumbs. And also the back one is panko breadcrumbs. We've got little star pasta. Those are great for soup. Also some pinto beans back there. I like to cook those in the Instant Pot. I do have a recipe on my channel for that. We've got popcorn, which is running low. We like to do popcorn at home. And then back there, I've got grits. We've got some pasta from Trader Joe's that we never ended up using. These are butternut squash little pumpkin pastas. So I really need to just cook those. I think the girls would like those. Also some red lentils back there. And both of those are rice. And then up front here, we've got some mixed wild rice that is seasoned. Nobody happened to like it except me. So every once in a while, I'll just make that and mix it in with my lunch. I've also got some wheat berries right here, just some almonds. And these are smokehouse almonds from Costco. They come in a huge giant bag and they're just really salty and really flavorful. So you can see like they're totally coated in salt and flavoring and they're really good. I'm the only one who likes those. <laughs> and they've got two kinds of peanut butter stuffed pretzels. We've got like the regular sized ones and then Trader Joe's came out with mini ones and Stella was having trouble biting through the big ones. So I got these little ones for her and she really likes them. So 
Every once in a while for snacks, they'll have those. I just put those ones kind of up high so that Stella can't grab them since they are glass. I don't want her to accidentally hurt herself. And then down here, like I said, I stocked up on pumpkin. That was one thing last fall that I was able to finally find. So I stocked up on it. And then I've got some of these. Um, I ended up with a lot of the Kodiak ones of these. They're just little protein muffins or protein flapjack things. The basic idea is you add water and you microwave it and it's a nice protein source. So I ended up seeing they had two of them at Trader Joe's. So I'm going to try those ones as well. But I tried pretty much all the flavors of the Kodiak cakes and I will be doing a video on that um, coming up soon for you guys. Just random cans. I've told you most of these. Some sweet potatoes, the green beans, there's a can of um, what are those black eyed peas back there? <laughs> and that bag is actually soda can tops. We've been trying to save them because her school collects them. So sparkling water, basically, <laughs> all those tops. Then over here is salad toppings. I didn't even mention that when we walked through everything, but this is all salad topping type things. We've got some little Parmesan cheese crispy things. These ones happen to come with a coupon deal. I think it was like buy croutons get one of these free so I bought enough and they're about to run out I don't know if I'll repurchase those we've got just french fried onions we've got jalapeno crispies back there regular croutons and then when tortilla chips get to the end of the bag I stuck them in there so I can have those for tortilla soup or for like a southwest style salad or a burrito bowl type thing it is also in this little salad toppings stack area. We also have some peanut butter. So we've got regular crunchy. And then I usually try to have like one fancier one. So we can just eat that with a spoon. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> so we usually have something back here that's decadent and delicious that I can just have a scoop of every once in a while. And back here is an empty spot because it's usually filled with freeze dried whatever. So right now we just have one little thing of freeze dried strawberries left. But they love the crunchy okra. They have liked the crunchy broccoli, mangoes, all the fruits. I just buy a bunch and put them in that back corner and when they're gone, they're gone. So right now you can see they're <laughs> pretty much gone. We've got Pirate's Booty and Goldfish. Those are some of their favorites. So they're in the bigger containers. I especially fill up this one quite frequently, but um, I do buy the big giant thing of goldfish crackers for them and they'll make it through this as well. And then some various other crackers back there. They're just like one-off things that we've bought here and there. And then this is random snack things. We've got a little bit more freeze-dried um, bananas. They liked the strawberries. They didn't so much like the bananas. So they're in there just in case. One little bag of random chips left from a chip mix. One little granola bar left. These kind of granola bars have been a big hit lately. These Kirkland Costco ones. So I just kind of put all the randomness in this container. And then we've got a row of popcorn. This is going to be mostly dried fruit stuff and nuts. So we've got, for now, we have mandarins. They just ate all the golden raisins. We've got some um, apricots there, some pineapples. Sometimes we'll have the little baby pineapples from Trader Joe's, and they're really good too. And then regular raisins back there. And then for the roasted nuts and things, we've got sweet and spicy pecans, smoked jalapenos. This is mostly my little stack here. Uh, pistachios and then chili garlic cashews that's what I've got going on right now these two are opened but I try to stick with some of these almonds and the various nuts that I get and have them in my little container which is mostly just for me snacking <laughs> and then the last big row here we've got basically chip snacks on this side and then all their little other snacky things over here so we'll walk through First, behind here, I told you guys about my emergency stash. We need to get more soups. We were all kind of sick this last week, so I did end up blasting through some of the soups. We need to stock that back up. Um, and then up front, I've got all the chips we've got. Just corn chips, basically Fritos. We've got tortilla chips. This one is just some sort of potato chip. Right now it happens to be jalapeno queso. It's an AGB flavored potato chip, but we do also like the, like the ridged ones, the wavy ones, sometimes just plain, whatever we have, we just stick it in there. And this is pita chips. I tend to always have these on hand because I get in the mood to have something super extra crunchy and those are really good. Then some Cheetos back there. That was Olivia's pick recently, so it's in there. Sometimes we'll have like two flavors of potato chips. Um, then over here, we've got two kinds of pretzels. Olivia loves these flat pretzels and so do I. And we have pretzel sticks and I try to keep two kinds of pretzels in here for variety. 
This actually was bagel crisps. I ended up eating all those, so this will be another different kind of snack at some point. Like whatever we buy, I'll stick it in this container. But for right now, it is the little cheddar rocket ships. The girls did not like these. They were completely out of goldfish when I tried to order them one time and I happened to see these rocket ships at Trader Joe's. The girls hate them. So this is my snack right now. I've been working my way through those. They really just like the, you know, the brand name goldfish I found out. And then these are those peanut bombas. They're just basically peanut Cheetos and the girls both really like them. So I have them in there. And then we've got dried mango here and then pea crisps. So Again, like this might be one we change out for veggie straws or some other kind of like healthier chip type option. But I try to keep, you know, the same kind of snacks in here. So they have options. They got some dried fruit options. They got some crunchy, uh, salty snacks, some chip options, and also always the applesauce. Basically, both girls will just go to town on this applesauce. And then basically I talked about all the bottom stuff. So I think that is it for walking through everything in the pantry. So we'll do one more look down the pantry and that'll be it. I really hope you guys like this pantry tour. I really hope someday eventually to totally redo the pantry so that my things fit. I can get more containers and stack them and make pretty much every single thing in a container. But for now, this is going to be how it functions. So far, it's been a little over a month now, and this has worked so good for us. I really like it. I will end up washing the containers as I switch out like the bigger snacks, like the Pirate's Booty. Once I'm through a bag of Pirate's Booty, I'll wash the container. And it's so great because they can run right through the dishwasher, no big deal. I've been hand washing the lids. I really just like the OXO pop system, and it's worked great for us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like these organization and tour type videos, and I will be back soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.